Hi, welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today we're going to the Manchester Opera House to see Winnie the Pooh the musical. We're taking the kids with us. It starts quite early, it starts at five o'clock. Uh, so we're going to go and get the tram as soon as I pick Alice up from school. We're then going to head there. Lawrence doesn't finish work till free so he'll get home about half free and then we'll all go and get the tram we have tickets for the circle the back row of the circle row q but they reduced all the seats down to 10 pounds and there are some still left in the stalls so i'm going to see if maybe we can swap and sit in the stalls we'll see uh, i think there's some seats on row n a group of four so we'll see if they get sold if not we'll ask if we can swap to there just because it's be better view for the children and yeah really looking forward to it it's only an hour long so it'll finish at about six o'clock and then we'll probably get some food out as well while we're there i'll obviously show you any merch that they have um i know you're allowed to film the curtain call but i know from other shows you're allowed to film a curtain call and then a palace and opera house just don't like you filming curtain calls so I'll see if I'm able to film it or not, but I know that you are allowed to film it for this one. But whether the fit will let me film it, I don't know, so we'll see. Also, I will review the show when I get home. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this little theatre vlog. So we're just at the tram station now, just getting our ticket. We're getting a family ticket, it's only £5.20 for a family ticket for two adults, two children. So, family ticket. Tram is due in one minute. Now 20 past four, we've just got off the tram at St. Peter's Square. We're just going to walk up to the Opera House now. Lunch takes about, probably with the kids, probably takes about 10 minutes. So yeah, should get there in plenty of time.
Okay, so we're in our seats now, we're on row J. This is our view, it's going to start any second. finished now we're gonna go did you like the show Alice yeah, yeah let's go that way then this way to the door so we've just gone to Manchester on there now to get some food we're just in the lift heading to the food court yeah here we are find a table Mini. We're all just tucking into our food. We're all very, very hungry now. It's probably what what time? About quarter to seven or something. So it's quite late now. So it's nearly kids' bedtime. So we're gonna eat this, get the tram home, and it'll be time for bed because Alice has got school in the morning. Hopefully it'll move soon. Because this oh, one needs to go to bed. Hi, so I'm now back from the show and thought I'd just tell you a little bit about it. First of all though, it took our, it took over an hour to get home. We were stuck on the tram for over an hour because uh, there was a fault on the system and yeah, it, we were stuck on it for an hour. So I think it, in all, our journey took nearly two hours to get home and should only take 20 minutes. They ended up having to switch off the entire tram line and reboot it in order to be able to get the trams going again. So yeah, it took us a long time to get home. So it's quite late now because when we got home we had to get the kids to bed. And yeah, I think it's nearly midnight now. Let me see. It's, it's actually 20 past midnight, so it is very late. But I'm going to tell you a little bit about the show. So, obviously we went to see Winnie the Pooh the Musical at the Manchester Opera House. We uh, were supposed to be sat in the circle on the back row on row Q. However, we managed to move seats and we end up sitting on row J uh, of the stalls, which was a much better view. So we had a really good view from there. Um, if you didn't know, they reduced all the tickets for Winnie the Pooh to um, £10, best available seat. 
Um, so we paid £13 for ours. We bought the cheapest ticket, um, but they then reduced all the tickets to £10 via Manchester Theatre. You had to go through them to get the £10 tickets. Um, so yeah, I don't think it was selling very well. Um, it might have something to do with the fact that it's it's um, not uh, summer term yet. So the kids, the kids are all in school and the age range this is aimed for is much younger children. Um, and so it was co probably quite late for them. But even though it starts at five, it's a five o'clock start. Um, if people have to travel, like we ended up getting back very late for Alice to go into bed because she's got school tomorrow. Um, maybe, yeah, maybe that's why. Um, and also the other shows that are in the afternoon, other kids that would probably go to that are in school. So maybe that's why it's not sold very well. I don't know. But uh, I think before they reduced the tickets to £10, I think the top price ticket was like was it £25, £30. Um, because it is only an hour long show because obviously it is aimed at children and I would say if it was much longer than an hour the, the age range that this is probably aimed at will probably get a bit restless. So yeah we ended up sitting in row J and it was a really really good view from there with plenty of leg room and yeah definitely would sit there again if we went to another show. Uh, we did manage to get a booster seat for Leo um so he could see a bit better alice doesn't like them she won't sit on them but if you are going to the show they have booster seats um in the stalls just by the kiosk at the front just near the front of the stage they have some there um another thing we took our pram with us because we knew we'd be coming back late and they would be getting tired so we took a pram with us um when you got in they Took, they were really really well organized with it they as soon as you got in they took your pram off you at the door they put a ticket on your pram and gave you a ticket and then they took it to their storeroom and then at the end uh, you just give your ticket back and they bring your pram back to you so I thought they were very very well organized with the prams um, I was quite impressed it was very well organized um, so yeah if you take in a pram you'll be fine um as this was a disney musical there was lots of merch um i say lots it was mostly the soft toys so they had Pooh, uh eeyore tigger uh piglet i don't think they had kangaroo and Roo. i think it was just those ones and they were 25 pounds each so quite expensive alice took a shine to piglet because she said that's her favorite because it's pink if you didn't know, my daughter is totally obsessed with pink at the minute. Everything has to be pink. Um, if it's not pink, she won't have it. So, yeah, she really liked piglets. She didn't get it, though, because I was not paying £25 for another piglet when she's already got two. So, yeah, we didn't buy any of the soft toys because they've got already got all the Winnie the Pooh soft toys and we didn't need any more. Um, but we did pick up a programme which is here this was 15 pounds but it is really nice program it's like a book it also it has the story in it as well so yeah i think it's a really good program um so i didn't mind paying 15 pounds for that because it's like a hardback book uh they also had a poster which was signed by the cast i think it was um they had a t-shirt and a tote bag and I think that was it. I'm not sure if they had more merch than that uh, when they started the tour. I'm not sure if that's all the merch that they had. But yeah, that's all the merch I had there. T-shirt, tote bag, program, sign poster and the four cuddly toys. So that's the merch that they had. Uh, I don't know how much the tote bag was. It wasn't an actual price list. You had to just ask for the price when you got there. Um, so yeah, I don't know how much all the other things were, but I'm pretty sure the toys were £25 and the program was definitely £15. I'm gutted there wasn't a magnet because I would have liked a magnet to go with magnet collection, but at least I got the program. And I have to say the queue for that merch was ridiculously long um, because you could only get the programs from the merch stand. So the queue was massive absolutely massive I, w I only just managed to buy this in time before the show started literally I bought this at one minute to five and the show was supposed to start at five I think it started a couple of minutes late 
just because the queue was so big. I did hear them say as I bought this that the show was going to be starting any minute and the rest of the people needed to go and sit down and that the merch stand would be open at the end because there's no interval so there's no interval for people to buy stuff in the interval so um they had to either get it at the start or the end so i'm really lucky i managed to get this because obviously i needed to take my uh, program shot uh before the show started there's no point me buy one after to get a program shot because i wasn't going back in uh, so i was glad i managed to get it just in time um but the queue after after the uh show was going all the way up the stairs it was a massive, massive queue. So everyone that went there obviously really wanted some merch. So the queue was massive. So bear in mind if you go in, try and get there early to get the merch because the queues were just massive. Okay, so I'll just tell you a little bit about the story. So it's quite a simple story because this show is based for, uh, for young children. Um, so it starts where you see Christopher Robin and he's heading off to school and um Pooh is looking for honey and it goes through the seasons as Pooh is searching for some honey and along the way he runs into his friends so along the way we meet uh Piglet, Eeyore, Kangaroo and Roo, Tigger and Rabbit oh and also Owl so all the main characters are in there and yeah um i have to say it was so noisy in that theater with all the children um we go to a lot of kids shows and it's never been that noisy before throughout the show at a point where it was sometimes hard for me to hear what the characters were actually saying because the chatter in the theater was just so loud i don't know if it's because the kids were bored um I'm not sure because like I said we've been to lots of kids shows and the, the level of talking for the show has not been that bad to where I was struggling to hear what the characters were saying on stage so yeah I don't know I know Leo did seem to get a bit bored at points in the show um but it was supposed it was it was quite late for him it was five o'clock and he hadn't had his dinner and I think he was probably a bit hungry um he did tell me at one point it was too loud for him and I think he also gets overexcited sometimes when he likes things so much and so when some of the characters were coming on he was getting really excited and he was close to his eyes or hide his face which is what he does when he gets overexcited um, too overstimulated so I think maybe it was a bit overstimulating for him I'm not sure because he's like I said he's been to other shows and he's been fine um, so he started banging his head on the chair a bit, um, jumping about a bit, um, and he's never done that at any of the other kids' shows before. So, yeah, I don't know if it's just because he was so excited because he loves them characters so much and seeing them on stage just got him a bit overexcited, overstimulated, or if he was getting a bit bored with the story because, like I said, it was a bit difficult to hear exactly what they were saying at some points because the kids were just so chatty. Um, it was quite a young audience, and I suppose we're used to going to the Lowry Theatre, which is smaller, so there's not as many children in the theatre, as this one is a much bigger theatre than the small theatre we go to at the Lowry, so maybe it was that. I'm not sure, but yeah, it was a bit difficult to hear sometimes what the characters were saying because the kids were talking so much. Um, but... I enjoyed the show. I especially loved the puppets. The puppets are what make the show for me, really. They are so detailed. They look so much like the characters. Um, except for Rabbit. Rabbit looked quite a bit different. Um, but Leo actually said Rabbit was his favourite uh, character in this. His favourite puppet he really liked. But Leo loves Rabbit, so I think that's why. But he, Leo really loved Rabbits. Uh, so Rabbit was his favourite. And Piglet was Alice's favourite. But I think it was because Piglet's pink, <laughs> so that's why. Um, but yeah, they were really, really nice. Eeyore was a great puppet. Tigger, for me, was my favourite. Uh, not just because his puppet was so good, but he had the best songs. Now, this is classed as a musical, and I have to say the songs were not memorable at all. I don't remember any of the songs other than Tigger's songs. So he obviously sing, sings the wonderful thing about Tigger's, which is a song everyone knows. And he also had another one. And that was probably my second favourite song in it. 
Um, let me see if I can see what it was called. Whoop de doopa bounce. That was his other song, and that was probably the second best song in it. So the best songs in it were both Tigger's songs, but the other songs I couldn't, I can't remember them at all. They weren't memorable. Um, they were just songs that sort of fitted in with the story. Um, so as a musical, I wouldn't say it was great. Um, the songs just weren't very memorable at all. And I've been to other kids' shows and the songs in them are amazing, really, really good. Uh, so yeah, the songs weren't fantastic. Uh, again, the story was, wasn't was great. Um, not very much seemed to happen. It's basically just poo walking around trying to find some honey. A few sort of little things happened along the way and he chatted to some of his friends. So I would say the story was a little bit lacking. I think the best thing about the show is the puppets. And to be honest, I would happily pay what we paid just to go and watch the puppets. Because, like I said, they were really nice. I also thought the set was very nice as well. It was a static set. didn't really move very much. It was pretty just static, but it looked really nice. It definitely reminded you of the 100 Acre Wood. Um, it had a few fallen leaves in autumn, which Leo loved. Leo loved the falling leaves. That was one of his favourite bits. Um, it had like a bit of snow in winter, um, a snowflake falling down. Um, Leo and Alice loved the little bees that they had on sticks and the little butterflies um, that they used. But yeah, I thought the set was very nice. But like I said, it was a static set. It didn't change very much. But it didn't really need to because they were in the 100 Acre Wood and that's where they stayed. So... I was quite happy with the set, I thought it was nice and I really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, I think the things that let it down was the story was a bit lacking and the uh, music uh, wasn't that memorable. But it was an enjoyable, enjoyable show for the children. Alice had a smile on her face the entire time. She was fascinated by the puppet, she absolutely loved him. And like I said, I think with Leo, I think because he was hungry, um, he just got a little bit restless and I think he got a little bit overexcited at seeing the puppets. I think that's what it was because he loved the puppets so much. And he just got a bit overexcited, a bit overwhelmed. Um, but it was a great show. Oh, I just wish it wasn't quite so noisy. I mean, my kids were chatting as well. Don't get me wrong, they were talking um, as well. It's what children do. But I don't know if that's... Well, Alice didn't talk. It was mostly Leo. Um, so I don't know if he did get a little bit bored, I'm not sure. Um, maybe they needed the story to be a little bit more engaging. A lot of shows that we go for kids shows, there's a bit of audience participation and that seems to help keep the kids engaged, whereas this didn't have any of that. Um, so maybe they needed to bring a bit of that in to help the kids stay a bit more engaged with the show. Um, but it was a beautiful, beautiful show. So the puppeteers, um they are visible the whole time so you do see the puppeteers but you sort of don't notice them because you're so focused on these beautiful puppets you don't really notice the puppeteers um but the thing about the puppeteers is they are actually have costumes on and i've read in the program that they're made to look like painters because they're supposed to be the painters of christopher robin's imagination um uh, which what was interesting and apparently they have sort of aspects of their costumes sort of reflect the uh, characters, the puppet characters that they have. So I think on the Tig, one that um, the puppeteer of Tigger has stripes on his top, um, the puppeteer of Kanga has patches on theirs, um, and there's other little bits um, there that are aspects of the character on the puppeteer's costume. So I thought that was quite nice. Uh, as well so yeah we but we all really enjoyed the show I'm so glad we went to see it and it wasn't a bad price to be honest I think the quality show that we got for the price was pretty good um so yeah I would recommend it if you've got younger children as an adult going without children I'm not sure how much you'll enjoy it because like I said the children are pretty loud pretty noisy um I don't know if you love Winnie the Pooh then definitely go but it is do bear in mind that it is aimed at young children I would definitely say one and up one to maybe about seven um 
yeah so bear that in mind it is not aimed at adults it is aimed at very young children which is why it's only an hour long um and yeah i think if i'd gone to see it just as an adult i probably wouldn't have enjoyed it as much as i enjoy taking my children and seeing how much they enjoyed it um but i would say if you're a massive winnie the pooh fan then you probably will still enjoy this show just to see the lovely puppets um that they are would i have gone without the children i probably would have gone to be honest because like i said i thought the puppets were lovely um and but i probably wouldn't have paid more than 10 pounds i think if i would have paid 35 pounds i would have been a bit disappointed um but for the price i paid i thought it was a really good show and i probably would have gone and seen it with and without the children for that price okay so i'll now just give you a quick look at the program so you can have a look in here and i can tell you who the cast were okay so this is the program like i said it's like a hardback book it says here disney's winnie the pooh the new musical stage adaptation So it's got a nice picture here of the Pooh uh, puppet. So it's got Rockefeller Productions. It's got the producers and the directors. Special thanks. This is about the music. So these are the songs in the show. You've got Winnie the Pooh, Blustery Day, The Wonderful Thing About Tiggers, Whoop Dee Doopy Bounce, Whoop Dee Doopy Bounce Reprise, Rumble in My Tumbly, The Wonderful Thing About Tiggers Reprise, Winnie the Pooh Reprise, Winnie the Pooh Hums, The More It Snows, Sing Ho for the life of a bear. And yeah, that is it. And then got here about the show, a synopsis. So this is the story of the show. So this tells you the story. So it tells you different scenes. You've got the autumn scene. You've got the winter scene. spring scene and you've got the summer scene so it basically tells you the whole story of the show and then you've got here a bit about the costumes information about the puppets lovely picture of the puppets see the puppets are absolutely gorgeous information about the set and then some production photos It doesn't look like this actually has a cast list in it. Unless I've missed it. So it doesn't actually tell you the cast. So I might have to look up on my phone and tell you who the puppeteers are and see if I can find out. Okay, so if you go on the Winnie the Pooh official website, it does have the cast on there. It doesn't tell you who 
plays which character. I think they do swap up a bit, I'm not sure. Uh, but Benjamin Durham plays Pooh. And it'll tell you a bit, if we go on there, it'll just tell you a bit about him and what he's done. So it says he was in the ensemble in Young Frankenstein. That's what he's done before. So he plays Pooh. And then the rest of the class include Laura Bacon, Harry Boyd, Alex Cordell, uh, so Benjamin Durham plays Pooh, Chloe Gentles, Lottie Grogan, Robbie Noonan, and yeah, that is the cast. I think this is the tour cast. I think the cast was different when it was in London, but this is the tour cast. Uh, so this show, I'm stuck on how many stars to give it because I've seen a lot of kids shows that have been better, that have been musicals with better songs uh, but the puppets in this are so good and the set was really lovely but the story was a bit lacking so I think I'm going to have to give it three and a half stars I don't think it quite makes the four star mark um, so I think I'll have to give it three and a half stars um, but it's a lovely production and yeah it was a lovely day out for us all so yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this little vlog and review. If you have, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. In fact, if you do enjoy theatre vlogs, um, especially like children theatre vlogs, do a lot of those, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified as soon as the next one goes up. I think the next one we might be seeing is Zog. Um, I think that might be the next kids show we're going to see and then Alice my daughter really wants to see the Gruffalo's child really wants to see it and I think that isn't on until April but we will definitely be going to see that because she's wanted to see that for a very long time so we will eventually go and see that one so yeah like I said if you've enjoyed the video please do give it a like don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you again soon bye